Understanding, I need a doggy bag, a guide for English learners. Hello, everyone. Welcome back to our channel, where we aim to make English learning easy and fun for you. Today, we're diving into a very interesting phrase, I need a doggy bag. You might have heard it in restaurants or movies, but what does it really mean? Let's explore this together and learn how to use it in everyday conversation. When someone says, I need a doggy bag, they are asking for a container to take home the leftover food from their meal at a restaurant. It's a common practice in many countries, especially in the United States, where portion sizes can be quite large. Despite its name, a doggy bag is not just for dogs. It's for anyone who wants to save their leftovers for later. The term, doggy bag, dates back to the 1940s. Initially, it was a polite way for diners to ask for leftovers to feed their pets at home. However, over time, it became socially acceptable for people to request a doggy bag for themselves, not just their pets. This change reflects a broader acceptance of food conservation and the value of not wasting food. Asking for a doggy bag can sometimes feel awkward, but it doesn't have to be. Here's how you can do it politely. After finishing your meal, wait for the server to clear your plate. Smile and politely say, could I please have a doggy bag for the leftovers? Thank the server when they bring the container to you. Remember, it's perfectly acceptable to ask for a doggy bag, and it shows that you appreciate the food and don't want to waste it. While common in many places, the practice of asking for a doggy bag varies by culture. In some countries, it's widespread and accepted, while in others, it might be less common. Being aware of these cultural differences is important, especially when you're dining out in a foreign country. And there you have it, folks. I need a doggy bag is more than just a phrase. It's a reflection of practicality, food appreciation, and cultural practices. We hope this video has shed some light on its meaning and use. Don't forget to like, share, and subscribe for more helpful English language tips. See you in the next video.